Okay, second, as a second example of thermoplastic, thermoplastic elastomer, elastomer, uh, I want to present you uh, with a styrene base uh, block of polymer, okay, elastomer. Okay, so styrene based uh, block of polymer was essentially developed by, originally by people in the shell. And later, uh, they spin off uh, the company called the Creighton. Uh, is a company that they are essentially has an independent company now. Thermoplastic elastomer uh, using styrene based or copolymer is uh, typically can be looked at as a styrene butadiene block copolymer or a styrene isoprene block copolymer. Butadiene has a repeating unit monomer structure, looks like that. And isoprene has a uh, the uh, chemical structure looks like this, and this is a gas at room temperature, and this is a liquid at room temperature. So therefore, actually, isoprene is much uh, is a more easier, more popular monomers. People using it in the the academia lab because it's a liquid easy to handle gases uh, you need to have a very good uh, uh, closed system to transfer the gas in here and there and that's more industry favor to use a butadiene based platform um, but both are being used and uh, the basic idea here is polystyrene has a TG both amorphous polymer about 100 degrees C the molecular weight depends on the, uh, and it has a both side, okay, that's the Tg, Tg of 100. So at the room temperature, this is a glass domain, serve as a physical cross-linking side. And in the middle, and I can use the same, same thing as a polyurethane before, this is a flexible uh, rubbery-like chain, polybutadiene, polyisoprene. Their TG is around minus 50 degrees C or minus 60 degrees C in that. So think about this way. So let, let, let me try to show. I have a polybutadiene polymer. Okay? If you have a polybutadiene or a polyisoprene, this polymer itself is a, is a pretty low TG polymer that can, they can kind of flow. So it's kind of sticky, gooey liquid. It's, the, what the, uh, the Mr. Goodyear uh, invented for the vulcanization method is they was, he was using the sulfide to cross thing all the polybutadiene and isoprene chains into a wholly cross link chunk. But what the shell scientists try to do is, okay, this is a, a rubbery chain. It's not so useful. It's just a gooey liquid. And uh, Mr. Goodyear was crosslinking everything, but introduced a permanent crosslinking. But what about if you think about making a, putting a physical temporal crosslinking? So let's can they we can make a block of polymer attaching the polystyrene, and then this one is typically molecular weight is 10,000 to 15,000. That's good enough for them to uh, exhibit. TG around 100 degrees C. Okay, so that's the one that they want to put it in, and TG on, on the 100 degrees C. So, so they can offer this side. So then, what they can do is, okay, polystyrene can form this domain, whether it's a cylindrical domain or spherical domains. Typically, they are uh, industry like like this uh, matrix is a polybutadiene. So, so I'm here. I'm just Drawing the three examples, and the, these are the like an aggregation of a phase separation of polystyrene, which is a t, uh, Tg of 100 degrees, and then the polybutadiene. So kind of looks like this, okay. and there are some polybutadiene chains actually going going loop by itself, but eventually they are they are forming a networks, right? So these are the network polymers. So think about having designed a polymer system where it just looks like them before. So this is a textbook uh, example of polystyrene.
polydiene and the polystyrene triplocopolymer. This is about 20%. So 20% polystyrene. I know that 10% is spherical BCC. And 30% uh, is cylindrical hexagonally packed cylinders. And 20% is, I guess, uh, somewhere in between. So we are not so sure, but they, they do form the discrete domains. So because of that, so they form the polystyrene form this discrete domains right here. And they have a serve as a physical cross-linking site. Just like a hard segment domain in the thermoplastic uh, urethane elastomer, TPU, uh, this is a polystyrene form, it's on glassy domain. So this is very similar if I kind of put it into a different perspective. This is more like this. They are all cross-linked. It, it is a net, after all, it is a network. Right? So it is a network polymers. Let me just I just do a little bit of, of this. But there, there. I cannot do the infinite network structures, but it is. It looks like a network structure, but this is a now can be softened up. This domains, and so this is has just a TG around 100 degrees C. So if you heat it above the TG, let's say up to temperature 120, 130 degrees C, this whole thing is softened up. And then it behaves like a, just any other polymer, thermoplastic polymer. You can inject and mold it. And so this one has its own actually unique a application. Certainly, you can do the injection molding on on the making this uh, all, all kinds of the footwears, just like a TPU polymers. But uh, the adhesive, if you're looking at us, it we call the uh, pressure sensitive adhesive and uh, this is a binder uh, material so the polybutadiene and isoprene has a just a soft natures and uh, they can be nicely blended in and the butadiene uh, styrene it gives a, a good uh, mechanical glassy uh, stiff nature of the material is a right balance and putting on uh, right amount to tachify your formulation, you can uh, develop this a lot of adhesives. Okay, so a lot of you know, 3M is a very well known adhesive company. They they do study this one a lot. The last one is actually pre pre big in the as asphalt toughening. Okay, so the polybutadiene and the styrens. The asphalt is very complex chemicals, but in general, they are kind of the, like an oil. So they can be kind of physically, and the, the asphalt can be toughened up within the matrices. And think about this is a uh, this is a essentially the these are the the network that they can provide. And if the asphalt can kind of goes in 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 the in inside of it it can essentially hold on to this asphalt dispersion for a long time, right? So that's why this asphalt toughening is also was developed for these purposes.